say hot damn. And uh, yes, ma'am. Oh, what? Well, hot damn. And uh, yes, ma'am. Well, everybody listen up, because it's fun. Whoa. Hey, everybody. Okay, so we've read the rules. You're settling back in. You ready to do this thing? Oh, yeah! Okay, so I, I've got some announcements to make, and I, I, I have a, a traditional way to start these announcements, but I have a lot of information to pack in, so I'm going to give this a shot. We practiced it, and I ran out of time, but I'm going to try to do it anyway. Thomas Jefferson, hit me! It's time for the Circus Freaks Performing Report, brought to you by... The East Side Plaza, brought to you by the Sky Commodore's Ball, and brought to you by the Warren Center. As you know, this past weekend was incredibly busy. Going backwards from the wee hours to the early part of the day, we started off our evening at the Sky Commodore's Masquerade Ball. Oh, so some of you were there. Many of our performers who showed up at that show are here tonight. I also see that we have some people in the audience who decided to come join us. Thank you so much. Uh, I've also heard the big news that we will be invited back to be a part of the next Sky Commodores Ball. Uh, real, real quick, just to shout out the performers that were in, in the game. We had Marie Martin as Alta, which is nine feet of stilt walking silliness. We had Mr. Monkey Jacks who is nothing but trouble, I assure you. If you're new here, you will find out soon, without a doubt. We had Rachel Hollett as our very own Tick, the Clockwork Doll. I put it around in my clowny alter ego, Jave, and Kelly Nygren and Kasha Reese backed us up as our roustabouts for the evening, which is a really tough job when you realize not only are they in charge of clowns, they are in charge of clowns while dressing up steampunk style. They had to look good and kick butt, and they did a wonderful job, and I thank them for that. Second off, we had Spin Fest, which I got to be at for all of an hour. Um, you guys were amazing. I wanted to shout out the crew, TJ, Amanda, Mr. Taylor, who is not with us tonight, uh, and everybody else, Johnny Morbid, everybody who made our once a month circus social work like magic. Thank you for taking good care of our organization while we were off doing silly things for you. Thank you so much. And that brings us to the morning. Kasha, are you still in the house? Kasha and I got to clown, along with Kelly Nigren. Uh, Kelly brought out a brand new clown character named Bashley. And she's a quiet lass with her weapons of mass percussion, which will now become a regular feature of the Circus Freaks. Thank you. And we had Moxie the Clown, that's Kasha's character, and I came out as Rhino. Rhino is me with a big nose, a big horn, and a sign on my back clearly that says, small children, beat me up. Yeah, both times I've seen him, it's happened. I don't know why, but it seems to be this thing that says, I've got a great idea. Let's see if we can kill a clown. Uh, there's three there. No, she seems nice and has drums. No, she's adorable. Wait, kill Russ. I got it. So that's exactly what happened. I actually got my butt kicked by two Batman, a uh, Ninja Turtle, and a puppy. A face paint. It was a puppy. I, I don't know why these things happen. This is what happened. I'm giving you the performance report. I don't make up reality. It just happens. I report it in. I will give him a positivity pill, and I will give him an imaginary point because we don't keep score for a very funny heckle. And now, shut up. <laughs> Moving right along. I do have one other thing I wanted to say about the Sky Commodore Ball before we get the show underway. I got in a lot of trouble. Getting to play clowns is great fun because it is your job description to break the rules. There is a picture of me floating on the internet which is unfortunately not a fabrication. The uh, Sky Commodore's Ball was held at the Museum of Flight where Neil Armstrong's capsule was. I, I'm not going to say that I climbed up on a ladder, broke past a security barricade, and put my finger on the capsule. I am so proud of you right now. I figured you would be, Jay. 
But the best part was then as I came off expecting to be attacked for my, my bad actions, everyone looked to me and went like this, can I touch your finger? <laughs> and so I walked around for about 10 minutes making everybody, I guess that would be third generation astronauts because I touched something that was in space. And there you go. <laughs> Craziest thing I've ever done. Oh, we should all do that together. One, two, three. Clouds in space! And provided nobody actually from that organization watches this video, we'll probably get to go back there too. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the open stage. <laughs>